So I'll come back to the Eagle PCB design tutorial. So in this video, I'll discuss about wire band. So what should be the perfect wire band, 90 degree or 45 degree? So there is a dilemma. So I mean uh, 90 degree or 45 degree. So I will clear this dilemma in this video. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the PCB we have completed last time. So today I will actually route the crystal connection and I will demonstrate uh, the wire band, perfect wire band. So before routing the wire band, let's um, replace the crystal connection so that uh, the uh, distance from the wire, are, I mean distance, distance of the both wire are same because this will actually um, provide the better performance because this is a crystal connection. So uh, no, it is very sensitive to noise and we have discussed before that the crystal should be as close as the microcontroller connection pin. So this will actually, because microcontroller logic level, everything is completely depends on the crystal. So we have to be careful on actually routing the crystal. And this should be the closest microcontroller. Okay, so I have placed the crystal and after that, I will change the um, capacitor in the closer to this microcontroller so that the connection to the crystal, uh, capacitor and uh, microcontroller ground will be uh, closest. Okay, I think this um, distance is perfect. Okay, so now my concern is what should be the wire band? So let's get the wire tool, I mean route tool. After that, we see that there are uh, many types of wire band. The first one is 90 degree, that and the second one is 45 degree. That is also called uh, 135 degree. And the third one is the straight and rest of the uh, circular type of wire band. So let's get started with 90 degree. So if I just select the 90 degree, when I'm trying to bend this wire, I have to click on left mouse and the wire will be um, just bend like 90 degree, see? So I have to delete this one. It's not actually working properly. So let me delete this wire. Okay, and route again. And see, when I'm trying to actually bend this wire in any direction, it is bending through 90 degree, right? And there is another option, I can change that to 45 degree. When I am trying to bend this wire, the bending is uh, actually 45 degree, okay? So uh, let me uh, let me try with the 90 degree first. So if I just bend this wire 90 degree, and I close this connection, and another uh, bending is 45 degree. So let me select this one, I mean this one. Okay, this connection. So we can see that we have just selected one connection uh, 90 degree and that is 45 degree. So my concern is actually which one is better, 90 degree or 45 degree. So before actually coming to the conclusion, let's discuss um, this matter a little bit. So actually there is a notion that high frequency signal emit RF radiation in 90 degree term. So another theory actually rounds up that 90 degree causes signal reflection. So when the signal is reflect, there will be a destructive um, uh, interference, we know that. So in that case, the signal uh, strength will be decreased. And actually another fact was before the manufacturing was not ad uh, as advanced as today. So 90 degree actually traces was a real threat for them. So, so therefore it is not recommended. So it should be not, not recommended 90 degree. And, and then it is recommended to actually uh, route the traces in 45 degree. So the reason is actually 45 degree, it does not reflect signal. And also 45 degree corners are sturdy. Sturdy than uh, 90 degree, that means it is actually more durable, 45 degree. And also when we trace the um, IR band in 45 degree, it looks more professional. So this is the reason we have to actually um, prefer 45 degree than 90 degree. That means my uh, I have to delete this connection because this is not preferable. So we always have to actually select the 45 degree IR band. Okay, let's read out this one again. Okay, I think this way. Okay, this is perfect. So, and the thing is that um, the distance from this wire and this wire is not actually exactly equal. So, we, we, we actually try to uh, make this equal, approximately equal. Not always we can do that, but we try to do the, uh, I mean, keep the connection equal so that it will uh, give the better performance in our system. Okay, let's delete the wires and route again so that it looks more professional. The first one. It looks more professional, I hope so. Second one, 
yeah so i think this time the connections are better right and after that i will complete this connection as well as this connection so we can see that there is a problem in the ground connection and this is something like isolated in this segment so if we want we can place a via in this place so this will connect the top level ground plane of the crystal with the bottom level ground plane so this will actually give a better performance okay let's place a via in this place as well and after that we have to re, uh, name this via to the ground so that it will connect with the ground uh, bottom ground plane so i think that's all for today thank you very much